how does the Lightroom detail panel work? This is a great question from Gianluca in our Photography and Friends Plus community. And I'm gonna go into detail right now on the detail panel. Here I am in Lightroom Classic. If you're in Lightroom CC, it looks a little bit different. I have three great photos with examples that we're going to use for this tutorial. Under detail, we have two panels sharpening and noise reduction. We're going to start with noise reduction first. If you have a photo like this shot in low light, this was actually a film photo with a high ISO film shot when it was dark. So we have a ton of digital noise. You can see it here and I can zoom in and you can see all this artifacting here. Luminance is the black and white noise. Color is the colored noise that you see, which is sort of like green and red splotches. You can really see it if I go in and I crank up this luminance slider and get rid of the luminance noise. And I'm actually going to, when I do this, you can see that some of these settings underneath are set to default settings. But if I increase this and then go in and decrease all these sliders to zero, we can really see what's happening and explain it better. So with the detail and contrast at zero, we can see that by increasing luminance, we're getting rid of that noise. What we're left with is, and if I zoom in here even more with the command click and drag method, control on a PC, if you just click once, you don't zoom in as much as you command click and drag, we can see some red and green splotches. And by increasing the color slider, we can get rid of that. On, off, on, off. You see that? I'm going to decrease these the detail and smoothness sliders as well. So let's start with luminance though. So luminance, we got rid of that noise, but when we do that, we get a little, we, it decreases the sharpness of the photo, the details of the photo. You can see the edges of these branches get a little bit softer. And so to combat that, well, one, you can just not decrease the noise as much, or you can bring back some detail with the detail slider. See how we bring back some of the detail, it becomes a little bit sharper. But when we do that, we end up bringing back some of that noise. It's all a balance. But luminance is getting rid of the noise. Detail brings back some of the edges and makes it sharper to bring back some of that sharpness and detail. Contrast. So contrast is going to bring back some of the contrast we might lose when applying noise reduction. I'm going to go to this photo here for this example. So here we have Sam here. We're going to increase the luminance slider. So we're getting rid of some of that noise. Detail, let's just leave at zero so you can kind of see what's happening. See how when we increase the luminance sliders, the contrast in his hair becomes a little bit, well, less contrasty? If we increase the contrast slider, we bring back some of that contrast. Off, on, off, on. More contrast with the contrast slider. Again, though, with the contrast slider, you might bring back some noise to this image. Everything's a balance. But now you understand, hopefully, what these three sliders do. The luminance is just the general overall reducing black and white grain and digital noise. Detail brings back some of the details that we might lose. Here you can see with Sam's hair, that's a really good example. We're bringing back some of that information and we're not bringing back too much noise. And then contrast also helps bring back some of the, the detail, the contrast that we lose. Color is very similar. So if we go back to our other photo, we go in here, let's just get rid of all of our black and white noise, and let's just decrease our, our detail so we can see the color noise. Color is going to get rid of that color noise, and then detail and smoothness is going to bring back some of the detail, and then also smooth some of the artifacting that we might have. So let's see here. You might still be able to see a little bit of the green and red. It's probably hard rewatching this on online, but if we turn this off, on, off, on, I can see on my computer that it's getting rid of some, some of what's called mottling or splotching, these little splotches you see. Let's go to the other photo. Here you can see it a little bit better on his cheeks. So if we increase our color noise reduction, 
we have these detail sliders set to just the standard, but if we turn off smoothness, on, off, on, off, let's decrease the, the detail and just crank up the color so you can kind of see what's happening. Sm not smooth, smooth, not smooth, s smooth. Now, the downside of doing this is his face becomes all the same sort of color with it all the way up. So it's smoothing out the colors, but then you're losing a little bit. It's like the contrast of colors, basically. You're losing a little bit of the differentiation in colors, which might not look good. Everything's a balance. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense for noise reduction. And typically you might want to just start with those before you get to sharpening, because as you reduce noise, which might be your most important thing for that photo, you're going to lose sharpening or maybe you'll bring back sharpening in the detail panel that you won't have to worry about later on with this top slider. Or maybe you have a photo like this, which it's a raw photo and Lightroom already applies a little bit of color noise reduction to this raw photo and it will for your raw photos as well. And it also applies a little bit of sharpening automatically with raw photos. That's just how raw photos need to be processed. But with this off, we can see what everything is doing. So let's turn off all the sharpening. Let's go in here to the details of this flower. So command click again right here. So here we can see that zoomed out, everything looks pretty in focus. The petals are in focus, but because it was a, with a macro lens, some of the inside of this flower are, isn't perfectly sharp. So we can try to make it a little bit sharper. Amount is going to do just that. It's trying to make the edges of things more pronounced, more sharp, more contrasty, and more detailed. And so increasing this adds a little bit of sharpness. Let's go over here. You might be able to see a little bit better. Let's zoom in here even more. Off, on, off, on. It's subtle, but it's there. It's happening. It's making the edge of these petals a little bit sharper. Radius and detail is how you fine tune it. So radius is going to look at the edge and it's going to expand the application of the edge from 0.5 pixels to three pixels. So the higher you go, the more of an edge and next to that edge is going to have sharpening applied, which can help make things sharper. So let's go to the center. And just the backslash button off, on, off, on, off, on. Detail does what amount does, but sort of to an extreme. So here, if we increase the detail, it's trying to increase the detail of your photo. And you can see with this all the way on, you can really see what it does. Off, on. More detail, you can see the lines in here, but what detail brings is some more noise. And so... Again, everything is a balance. You might say, oh, well, I want to get rid of some of that noise, so then I'm going to decrease noise with this noise reduction slider, but then you're losing some of that detail then. So <laughs> it's all a balance. Now, masking, what that does is it looks at your photo and it sees where all the edges are that need to be sharpened, but then it sees spots in your photo where it's all like one color, maybe it's like a sky or it's a lot of negative space or it's like this photo where it's out of focus. There's not a lot of edges over here in the background. And it looks at that and if we turn on masking, it sort of masks out the subject and it applies the sharpening to the subject, the flower, but the background, it's not applied as much. So if I turn this on all the way, off, on, off, on, if you go too much, it starts to apply to the edges of the flower. So I don't want to go too much, but just a little bit, you can see that it's applying more or it's, it, well, it's applying more sharpening to the flower and less to the background. And that's good because we don't need to sharpen this background. There's nothing to sharpen. We just want it to apply to our, sh our subject. So if you have a photo like this where it's a single subject, it's not like, uh, a landscape or, or a street photo or architecture photo where everything wants you want to be sharp and in focus but something like this with just one thing that's detailed and a lot out of focus play with the masking tool
So sharpening amount is a general amount of sharpening. Radius expands that sharpening on the edges of things. Detail cranks up the detail and makes things even sharper. It's sort of like full power sharpening, but you add a lot of noise when you do that. And then masking helps apply it only to the subject. I hope this makes sense. Please let me know in the comments if it doesn't. If you're interested in the Photography and Friends Plus community, then I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. It's a great family of photo friends where we can ask questions, post photos for critiques. We've got weekly live sessions and all kinds of things like that that will help you on your photography journey. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.